Hello. So, very good morning. In the previous lecture, I was started that how we will make the expert systems using your what we call it using your mm, prolog and java connectivity previously i have teach you in the previous lecture but in this lecture i am changing my track i am using jess expert system shell which is uh, java expert system shell i will also use this java expert system shell so what is java expert system shell see java expert system shell is uh, uh, basically designed by the name of person okay i will give you references you can go to friedman hill and uh, his book is there jess in action and you can download this book is from manning publication so you can download jess in action this is ernest firman hill jess in action java rule based systems manning publication this is the reference which i will be using and there is jess himself from which i have made the presentation so you can go through these two uh, this manual is already available just the rule engine for the java platform it's open source uh, and uh, i think not open source for uh, academicians they provide you license and uh, in the jess manual you will study the jess language basics actually jess engine is working on the java jdk and it is developed in the java and it has some symbols it has numbers strings lists commands you can call the functions you can uh, use the variables you can use the control flow so this is the basic language syntax which jess provides you and you can define the function in the jess by using the def function you can also change the behavior of a function by def advice uh, but most important thing is that why we use the JS type of the expert system shells uh, it provide you very good interface in the terms of uh, working memory you can declare the templates uh, in order to just uh, define that what kind of the new facts you will use in the working memory and these templates can be used to actually create the facts into the working memory actually expert system always have a working memory uh, what is the working memory whenever you are using a rule based expert system uh, there are some facts involved and there are some rules so all the current facts and the current rules they are present in the working memory means working memory is the small area which is store the current uh, facts and uh, all the process of the deduction is based on the current content of the working memory so in my all the expert system projects i will create some facts load them into the working memory then provide a user interface user will interact and uh, working memory facts will be updated or they will be added new facts will be added or previous facts which are already loaded they will be deleted so the step by step as the interaction grows between the expert system and the user the working memory will be changing its state and due to change in the working memory state new rules will be fired because their left hand side is satisfied maybe that some new rules are there whose left hand side is now satisfied after change in some content of the working memory so the new rule will fire it may be the case that more than one rule 
is now satisfied after some changes happens in the working memory some new facts are added or some previous facts are changed so maybe the case that some more than one rules are uh, having the completed their left hand side and they may deduct their right hand side maybe just you can say the rule is fired and their right hand side uh, can generate a new fact or this can con cascade into the new rule firing so there will be conflict among the more than one rules there may be some type of the conflict resolution strategy there will be basically three types of the strategies one is based on the priority if the rules are having some priorities some specificity some specific reason is there for firing or some other techniques hybrid techniques that how we will resolve the conflicts of uh, when in working memories has a state in which it can fire the it satisfies the two firing of the two or more rules so but thing is that management of the working memory can be done by the JS at runtime and uh, JS will be adding the facts uh, and modifying the facts uh, or just uh, you can say deleting the fact by these three four operations you can continuously modify your working memory so we will study in this module that how to manage the working memory from the JS programs as well as the Java programs and then we will see how you will make your own rules then we will introduce the construct diff rule which is used in the JS language to define the rules and uh, then we will study many things about the rules querying the working memory how you will query the working memory contents then I will teach you using Java from JS how you will connect the ja Java program into the JS using the Java beams and JS application design without graphical user interface expert system will not be very useful interactive we want to make it interactive so I will tell you how to make the basic GUI in the JS engine using the JS language basically and uh, some of the introduction I will give you some of the classes I will introduce in the JS that JS has defined new classes on the top of Java so that your functionality is easy basically Java don't provide directly writing the application in the rules in the form of rules and the facts but expert systems always need this kind of construct rule based expert system especially needs some platform which already provide you easily you can define your facts and easily you can define the left hand side and right hand side of the rules so in case of Java if you want to write a rule it will be very difficult because you have to import basic pack core Java packages and then you have to tell the program what is a rule so using the just type of the engines used is basically beneficial that you don't need to just tell them what is the rule what is the fact and how uh, what algorithm I will use to just uh, mm, find out that whether a rule should fire or not just already use the rate network algorithm to fire the rules rate is the I will tell you something about the rate algorithm that how a rate algorithm work rate network is there and how some conditions are satisfied then rules are fired this can be re represented in the written network graphically so somehow JS can also be used by your servlet and JSP so you can make a web based expert system also I will try I will show you some of the commands on the JS as well as I will try from my side to show you much more insights into the JS and I will take my examples from this manual which I have downloaded and also I will take from another book JS in action JS in action you can go to the mining website and just purchase this book sorry is the best possible book for JS and 
I suggest you that this book is a must read for any Java based expert system developer. So I will show you what is the book. Okay. I will be using this book JS in action. This gives you inter this is Manning publication introduction of the rule based systems rule based programming environment of the JS creating your rule based application this, this is a very good example that they have given a text advisor text form advisor which I will try to use in diagnosis PC diagnosis system and another different type of programs they have already given so what I want to say that you can download this book or purchase this book from the Manning, web Manning website Manning publication let me try to find yes this I have got Manning publication I have got this copy from the university Manning publication you can download and ask the Manning publication on this email you can give the order it's a really very good book and I suggest before I start actual expert system coding that you must have this book okay so next time I will teach you how to make my ex basic expert system using JSON. Thank you.